Beginning this week, I want to talk about going beyond the boundaries of our own doubt. This is a huge thing, and once we do this, once we become explorers of our own life and go beyond these boundaries, that's when we begin to discover the great things. As we consider the uncertainties of the future, we're often confronted with a powerful temptation, and that temptation is playing it safe. Now, I'm not preaching at you, my friend. I have played it safe so many times in my life, and sometimes I have to admit to you I would still be there if I wasn't pushed out beyond my own limits, and I went clawing and not wanting to go. <laughs> Thank God I went. Thank God I went beyond my own boundaries, uh, because that's where real life is discovered. Often in life, we become unwilling to move mountains, and we fret daily over molehills, unwilling to entertain great hopes for our tomorrows. We focus completely on the unfairness of today unwilling to trust God completely, we take timid steps, half steps, when God wants us to take giant leaps. Today, I encourage you at the beginning of this week, ask God for the courage to step beyond the boundaries of your own doubts. Ask God to guide you to a place where you can realize your full potential, not just a little bit of your potential, a place where you're freed from the fear of failure. Ask God to do God's part and promise God that you will do your part. And you don't ask God to lead you to a safe place. Ask God to lead you to a right place. And I could do an entire sermon on that. Most of my ministerial career, people have prayed to be led to a safe place where they could just sit down, where they could relax. But this is not God's will. God's will is for us to get out there and to really live life, a right place to live life. Remember that a safe place and the right place are rarely the same. Helen Keller once said this, Avoiding danger is no safer in the long run than outright exposure. The fearful are caught as often as the bold. Now, I close with the Bible. In Genesis, it says this, Is anything too hard for the Lord, question mark, and I say no. And you and God together can do great things that in your human mind and to your human eyes seem quite impossible right now. Remember, at Positive Christianity, impossible means I'm possible. God bless you.